The 300 pound box rests on a very smooth surface with mu s equals 0 0.15 between that box and that slope. I want to know what's going to happen. What value of p do I need to keep that box on that hill? So if I look at what I have on my free body diagram, I certainly have this weight, which is 300 pounds. On the slope, perpendicular to it, I'm going to have n, and I'm going to have the friction force tangent to the slope. I'm also going to have p, potentially. Certainly, I need to include it on my free body diagram, and I need to give it an angle. By similar triangles, I can look at this and say that this angle in here has to also be theta. Same thing with the w. I could draw a little triangle and say that that angle is theta as well. Now, it's easier to move w and p and get familiar equations of motion than it is to change f and n. So let's let x be along the slope and y be perpendicular to the slope so that my equations of equilibrium look like p cosine theta plus f equals w sine theta and p sine theta plus w cosine theta equals n. Now, the first question to ask yourself, of course, is will it slide if p is equal to zero? Recall, if p equals equal to zero, all you have is the same box on a hill where we defined the angle of repose, phi s. Phi s is that nice angle where tan phi s is equal to mu s. This is the coefficient of static friction. We can solve that to find out that the angle of repose for this slope is 8.5038 degrees. Now, since theta, my 10 degree angle, is greater than my angle of repose at 8.5, the box will slide if p is equal to zero. So, how big does p have to be to keep it there? We want p to be big enough so that motion is impending, but not actually happening. So, what does that mean? We want to know when f equals mu s times n. Mu s, of course, is 0 0.15. I want to plug this into my equilibrium. So plugging in my theta equals 10 and weight equals 300 and f equals 0.15 n, I have the sum of the forces in x looking like that and the sum of the forces in y equal to n. Plugging in some numbers for this second equation, I get 0.173648 p plus 295.44 equals n. I'm going to stick that back up into my sum of the forces in x and get plus 44.3163 is equal to 52.0944. And now I can solve for p, 7.69 pounds. This is the force that I need to keep the box on the hill.